Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a split system refrigerator that needs to be relocated due to construction. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. There is currently some construction going on. There used to be a wall right in this area. Everything was just taken down. A bunch of stuff was relocated. And actually the pipe work that you see here, that was me as well. I had to move it while they had to relocate these things right here. This is a split system. Downstairs we have a water-cooled condensing unit. And the idea is to get this out of the way as you can see right there, we have our two refrigerant pipes. We gotta disconnect our power source and we gotta disconnect our power wires going down to the condensing unit. All right, so here's the power source. This one just plugs right out. All right, so that's that. And then from here, we got a power source going downstairs and it looks like they just ran an extension cord to the condensing unit. Here's the infamous water-cooled setup. We have a bunch of water-cooled condensing units here. Split systems is for all refrigerators. I'm currently setting up my recovery setup so we can recover the refrigerant from the system. We currently have the power off for the condensing unit and we unplug the power for the refrigerator box. So let's begin with this recovery. All right guys, we're recovering right now. I also have my scale out just so we have reference of how much refrigerant is used in this line. That refrigerator is no longer going to be there, but I need some sort of reference. We're actually going to relocate this another floor up, so we'll take any clues we can get. Once this finishes, we'll move on to the next process, but it's definitely time to recover. Alright guys, we're actually in a vacuum already. We definitely recovered everything. You'll want to go a little bit below zero just to make sure you got everything out of there. But we're going to stop this recovery and we're going to start disassembling the unit upstairs. Alright, so we emptied the box, took out the shelving. The only thing is, is the dimensions here are going to be tricky to get it out of this space. I'd love to go through here. This door is in the way. We got 30 inches with the door. If I get rid of the door, we got 32 inches and that's the exact size of the box. So that's tricky. We'll make it through here, but we're not gonna make it through here. So we would have to raise it above this and that's pretty heavy and then get it around there. Oh man, I think that's gonna be the goal. Unfortunately, we might have to go down with the stairs with this thing. I don't know, we gotta, I gotta think this out. With a few things, one of which we're gonna get rid of the doors. Let's try to break this down as easy as possible. So, as small as possible and so we could do this as easy as possible. Chris, hold this for a second. And pretty much, we're gonna be disassembling. All right, pull it out, there we go. Let's get that to the side for now, and we're gonna do the same for this side. All right, yep, got these little clips. All right. Hold up. So we want this box as light as possible. So door's gotta be removed. The issue is this lip right here. I wish I could take this out, but it's riveted on. Anyways, just moving along with this. Let's go ahead and cut these two pipes here. Man, this is so nasty. And cut this wire. All right guys, we got the pipes cut. Let's just get this wire out of the way and this box is gonna be pretty much free. All right, so we just cleared out some space this way. 
took this stuff out this is in the way but we're gonna probably just lift it up a bit walk it through make our way here we're just gonna have to go through the stairs unfortunately but we're gonna try to lift it see if we can clear this if it's too difficult we're gonna have to remove the shelf and we can just slide through but either way we're gonna have to lift it above this area so let's do what we can do all right so we're gonna come through there go up and instead of that staircase yes. because things get too tight after we make that corner we're gonna start moving these things out the way we're gonna re we're gonna remove this door and we're gonna go through that gate and we're gonna be right outside trying to be strong you ready let's go just watch your arms when you're passing through the door hold on one second stop get another grip all right let's go Watch your back. You gotta go up. You gotta go up for you where you are. You gotta tilt it. You, can you get it? Wait. Oh wait. Come back to me. Now tilt up, and, we're, and once we, once we clear uh, where the dishes, right, that little metal thing behind you. Once you go above it, then we turn. Bring it up. Go straight back. No? All right, drop it. Drop it. Okay. All right, round two. Let's go. Up. Hold up. All right, come down. Come down, down, down. Yep, down, down. Bring it this way. What's holding us out? What's holding you out right there? Something? No, I don't see it. Yeah, I think there's screws on that floor. I think you gotta lift that. I think there's screws. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. You gotta that Hold up. Um. 2,000 years later. Ah, uh, we're coming. Turn this way right away. Turn this way right away. Come down, wait. Straighten it out. Straighten it out like from Chris. Yep. Go all the way towards this way. Straighten it out. Okay. So it can come down. Nah, you got the space. Right. No, no, hold up. It's okay, yeah. No, no, Chris. Flip it down. Yeah, bring it down for now. Bring it down, but there should be a space. Bring it straight down. It should fit right here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Right here, don't forget this lift though. It's not gonna clear. Okay. Right, maybe if we tilt it like this and we bring it up. You're not yeah, Chris, you see it? Yeah. Bring it up. That's it. Oh man. No problem, brother. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Huh. This is the on and off button. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> it shouldn't be too bad. We cleared out some stuff. Turn it shouldn't be. You're gonna have to turn it sideways. Yeah, and then just like tilt it over. Let's. Yeah. Let's bring it up this way. Come on that side. Gotcha. I want to sway. I want to spin this around. Yeah, yeah, turn it on its back, so when you drag it, drag it from the back, okay? It's not really back there, so... Let's see, let's just tilt it for now. Yeah, yeah. Well, hold on, let's see. Honestly, if we do the turn the other way, it'll be better. Wait. Oh, I switched to tilt it on the other side. Let's just see if it clears through. Right, we got this thing out to the door. Let's go. Right, just, just drop it here for now. 
let's make some space and luckily we're just gonna use this as a storage for now we're gonna leave it right here let's make some space and in the future it's gonna have to be relocated and this refrigerator is gonna be on a different floor let's make some space all right we made it it almost didn't clear this piece right here we had to tilt it and get it in but that's a beautiful thing right there to be honest with you they should just junk this thing and get rid of it and if they're going to be reinstalling a new system go with a new one because literally the evaporator has holes in it all right guys it's out this whole area is freed up really opened up this area did a pretty good job we're just going to sweep up clean up make sure everything is okay here's this stuff all this stuff is gonna have to go but the key was just to get this out of the way and as far as the next installation that is to be determined but if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as we come out with new videos every week catch you all next time